Ihua International Student Channel. Hello, Ihua. This is Jisoo here to deliver the weekly news. This week's topic is about the BBC World Questions public debate event, Shinchun Box Square, and Ihua Instar. First, the school issues. This week's school news is about the BBC World Questions public debate event. BBC World Question was held on June 14th at the LG Convention Hall located within Ihua. The main MC was Johnny Diamond with four other panels who were Moon Jong-in, Son Ji-ye, Kim Ji-yoon, and General Hwang Jin-ha. The event was a public debate as an outcome of the summit between President Trump and Kim Jong-un. Various debate topics such as the abolition of nuclear weapons, President Trump's assertive diplomacy, and the chance of peace within the Korean Peninsula were issued in the debate. BBC World Questions help enable a platform where the general public can join a democratic debate on a global forum. For this event, Cheon is on site to interview one of the assistant directors of BBC and also some participants. As the world's attention turns to the high-level diplomacy between North Korea and the U.S., BBC World Questions focused on the political issues between the two nations. Related to this topic, participants of the debate were asked to voluntarily write down debate questions. The questions were actually used in the open debate. Also, the participants were highly involved in the event by passionately addressing their opinions. It was impressive to see the open communication between the panels and the participants. I am Caroline Steele. I am the assistant producer on the BBC World Service World Questions team. Well, I was expecting an exciting debate, and we certainly got that. Uh, we, we especially had lots of female questioners, which was fantastic, especially as we are here at a women's university. <laughs> I think because women are very important for South Korea, and we are aware of the large gender pay gap and the lack of representation of women in businesses and politics, I think it's something like 2.6% uh, of CEOs are women and the gender pay gap is huge so we thought it was definitely going to be part of this debate, part of this program so why not come to a women's university and get as many women involved as possible. Moving on, this week's social news is the new coming of the Shinchon Box Square project. The Box Square is located in front of the Shinchon train station. It is now under construction and is planned to be launched on July. The project's main purpose is to clean up the scenery in front of Iwa's front gate. The project is planned to move all street stalls in front of the university to Box Square. However, there is an ongoing controversy between the street vendors and Sodemungu. The street vendors assert that the floating population of Box Square's location cannot guarantee their successful business. However, Sadimungu insists that the removal of all street stalls to Box Square will create a much cleaner environment for the campus. As the controversy continues, we have Toon on site to interview Iwa students on their opinions for this new project. Shincheon Box Square is located in front of the Shincheon train station. Compared to the Iwa subway station of Line 2, the location is not as crowded as the streets in front of the main gate. The comparison of population is one of the main reasons why street vendors refuse moving their stores to Box Square. It is also related to why the completion of Box Square is being delayed. Street vendors in Sodemungu have gone over 30 meetings to compromise this issue. This is Donna Kim, and we are on campus to hear students' opinions about Chinchon Box Square, which is currently under construction. First of all, do you think that moving the street stalls of the main gate will change the scenery in front of the university? Yes, I think it might bring change anyway, because the street stallers selling various things were one of the features of the street between Iwa Women's, Women's University and Ida subway stations. Yes, I think it will make the Iwa scenery like um, look cleaner. Yeah, because like the street straw right now and making the foods look a bit dirty because of like the narrow street and there's a lot of like pigeons and many tourists coming and it's look unorganized but if we could move there to Box Square that is a new project I think it will look uh, it will make Ihua look more cleaner and attract more people in a good way that will not block students running into school 
어, 일단 그 노점상이 하나로 합쳐지니까 좀, 어, 그 원래 있던 자리가 좀 깨끗해지고, 쓰레기도 좀 줄어들 것 같고, 그리고, 네, 전반적으로 그냥 좀 깨끗해질 것 같다는 장점이 있는 것 같아요. Um, do you think that moving the street stall to box square will have any positive effects? I think it is an effective way to deal with the problems of street strollers in the view of s o d e m u n g o fishers. Even though it causes another conflict through the process of box square, it is true that it, it is the solution for the safety, sanitation, urban landscape problems of street strollers. 어 제가 아까 방금도 말씀드렸다시피 그이 주변에 이제 노점상들의 쓰레기가 되게 많고 쓰레기가 많음에 따라서 약간 냄새도 좀 나고 약간 위생적이지 못한 그런 경향이 좀 있는데 그런 것들을 아마 박스 스퀘어가 해결해 주지 않을까라는 생각이 듭니다. Apart from the positive effects, do you think it is unfair for the street stallers being forced to move their stores to box square? I think so, cause like they need to pay more. from what caused them to uh, to sell food there and sometimes people might go to box square lesser in the sense it's like it's far from school because like now the street straws is like just there in front of school so i think it's easier and many people are like more convenient to buy foods there on the street stall but if there were moved there to box square c h i n c h o n They might not go there. They might prefer a restaurant or something like that. Yeah. Um, I think we need to listen both sides, the street stallers and Southern m o n g o l fishers. The situation seems unfair considering street stallers because it can damage directly to earn their livings. However, good officers argue that they offer enough facilities and support, support, facilities and support funds. If it is true, I think the box square project is inevitable considering various aspects of urban regeneration. As a EWAS student, can you recommend some ideas or promotions that box square can apply so that it can attract students? Um, I think they can use the idea of Mr. Buddy that they did, uh, I think, a few weeks ago, that they were promoting uh, their uh, startup store with some doll, like uh, someone like with the uh, putting on the doll thing and promoting it like that and yeah I think it was nice like that and also using in social media it was really effective. I think if they can promote to make EWA student like interest by like letting EWA student engage in like having startups store there or EWA student can make act some activities there like in real action it might attract more people and the awareness of the project itself. Opinion. Mm, having some special events like famous chef coming to box care stores and having rooftop parties and busking stays inside and outside of box care will ha can be a good idea to attract people. And I also think that making some mascot character like s u o r a n g and Pandabi at Pyeongchang, Olympic win Pyeongchang Winter Olympics Games can be helpful. Today we heard various opinions of EWA students regarding s i n c h o n Box Square. Back to you, Jisoo. Now the culture issues. This week's culture news is about the first EWA in Star edition. The edition was held to support students wishing to accomplish their dreams as artists. The edition ended at May 29th at ECC Samsung Hall, hosted by EWA's Graduate School of Performing Arts. The edition's main merits are that winners were given financial support, debut coaching by professionals, and opportunities for releasing single albums and contacting famous entertainment companies. For this event, t o n interviewed the winner of the edition to share her experience and thoughts with us. The e o n Star edition has been initiated to celebrate the 122nd anniversary of the foundation of e o Women's University. The theme was Finding e o y e n s Dream. The e o n Star edition was held in two stages. The preliminary edition was held on May 17th, picking the top 12 teams with the highest grades. The final edition was held on May 29th, selecting the finalist winners among the 12 teams. The grand prize went to Min Ji Jung, who is currently a sophomore studying communication and media. This is Toon here in front of Samsung Hall, where the first e o n Star edition was held. I am here to interview the grand prize winner to hear about her story. 먼저 이완 인스타에 참여하게 된 계기가 무엇인가요? 
어렸을 때부터 노래가 되게 하고 싶었는데 부모님 반대가 되게 심하셨어요. 그래서 이제 대학에 와서 해야겠다 했는데 또 막상 대학에 와보니까 노래할 기회가 되게 적었거든요. 그래서 기회를 찾아다니던 중에 이완스타 포스터를 보게 됐고 그래서 지원하게 되었습니다. 어, 이완스타가 자신의 삶에 어떠한 변화를 준것 같나요? 어, 사실 대학에 와서 노래를 계속 하려고 했을 때 어, 현실적으로 좀 힘들었어요. 아무래도 학업도 그렇고 동아리나 어, 미래를 위해서 스펙도 쌓아야 되고 대학생으로서 가져야 할 소양이나 경험 같은 것도 쌓아야 되고 해서 힘들었는데 이번에 도전을 하고 좋은 결과를 얻게 돼서 앞으로 계속 노래를 할수 있는 원동력을 얻은 것 같습니다. 어, 이와이스타 대상을 받으셨는데 선발자들에게 특별히 디지털 음악 발매 기회를 준다고 들었어요. 이러한 혜택이 자신의 꿈을 이루는데 어떠한 도움이 될것 같나요? 음, 일단 제 인생의 버킷리스트였거든요. 그래서 그걸 이룬 것 같아서 정말 기쁘고 그리고 부모님한테도 인정받을 수 있는 계기가 될것 같고 앞으로 제가 노래를 계속함에 있어서 좋은 기반이 될것 같아서 여러모로 좋은 기회라고 생각합니다. 어, 이와 인스타 참 미래 이와 인스타 참가자들에게 해주고 싶은 조언이 있다면 무엇이 있을까요? 어, 도전을 하기로 결심하기까지 굉장히 어, 쉽지 않았을 거라고 생각해요. 그래서 도전했다는 것 자체만으로도 굉장히 어, 음, 진취적으로 도전하는 사람인 거니까 그 자체만으로도 자신을 칭찬해 줬으면 좋겠고 어, 분명히 뭔가 가슴 뛰는 일이 될 거라고 그런 경험이 될수 있을 거라고 생각합니다. 이와 인스타를 그 이와 여자 대학 학생들에게 추천해 주고 싶은 이유가 있다면? 어 교내에서 이렇게 크게 오디션을 진행하는 경우가 흔하지 않잖아요. 그래서 이 흔하지 않은 기회를 잘 이용해서 자신이 이루고 싶은 거 이룰 수 있었으면 좋겠고. Today we interviewed the grand prize winner and heard her thoughts and feelings about the first e o n Star Edition. Back to you, Jisoo. Finally, we have a notification from the Office of International Affairs. The OIA is recruiting students who are willing to apply for the Individual Studying Abroad Program for Credit Transfer. OIA is recruiting students for the 2018 Summer Session and the 2018 Second Semester. Registration is available on the office of OIA, which is located in ECC. All applications will be due by August 2nd, 1 p.m. And for more information, please contact OIA at ehua.ac.kr. Thank you for listening, Ehua. This was Jisoo from EISC, and have a wonderful summer vacation.